Right, hello. Today we have a demonstration of the Wi-Fi ability of the MyWitness HD V2. This feature allows you to directly connect an iOS or Android phone to the dash camera. You're then able to use the MyWitness HD app to view the cameras live, review or download recorded footage and even format the SD card. I'm going to be running through the process required for connecting to the dash cameras and go over some of the basic operations that you can accomplish from within the app. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is plug the camera in and make sure that the Wi-Fi light is a solid yellowy green. So you can see here I've got it set up on the desk. We've got a, a flashing blue status light down there just to show the camera's in normal recording mode. And the Wi-Fi light is indeed a solid greeny colour. Now I haven't got the GPS module plugged in. That's actually just sat here on the desk. Obviously I'm indoors so it probably wouldn't pick up a signal anyway. Uh, but if you were outdoors and you did have that module connected you should see a solid blue light for the GPS as well. Okay so the next thing you need to do is download the My Witness app. So if you go into your app store, go to search and just type in My Witness. You can see the first result we've actually got there is for the older camera. So if you slide down the one we're looking for is the My Witness HD viewer. You can see I've already downloaded it, but if you go ahead and download that one, and then once it's finished, come back out there to your home screen, go into your settings, into Wi-Fi, and make sure that you're within 10 meters or so of the camera for this, for this part. You need to be near the camera when you're using the app. Now, the My Witness manual states that you should see the camera appear as STB dash um, the serial number or the MAC address. We've uh, fired a few up and out of the box they've actually appeared as A18 or A110. So as you can see here, the camera is actually the top result, A18. So if I click on that, they then ask for the password, which is 12345678. You just hit join. That should connect. There you go, it's connected straight away. If you now come back out, you can now go into the My Witness app. Now once you've been through that process and connected using the password there, it should automatically connect so you don't have to go through that process each time. Okay, so once inside the app we have three options, My Witness HD, Phone Storage and Extras. For now we want the first option, My Witness HD. Now you should be presented with a list of the video files currently saved on your SD card. Each is marked with the time and date, front or rear to show which camera it was captured on and either an N, E or P to show which recording mode captured the clip. So the N is for normal recording mode, E is for event recording mode and P is for parking mode. On the left hand side we have a filter, so if you only wanted to be able to see event clips you could tap the N and the P. And there we go, so we've just got our event recordings there. Likewise if you wanted to do the same for front and rear recordings you can tap this button until you uh, reach your desired filter. Now if you wanted to play back one of these video clips you simply tap the file. can take a few seconds for the clip to begin streaming so just be patient. And there we go. So now at the bottom you can see you've got the date and time and on the bottom right hand corner you've got the miles per hour. Unfortunately there isn't much to see with my clip. The camera's just sat on the desk uh, and in case anybody was wondering the flickering that you can see it's just caused by the office lighting. Uh, you won't pick this up on your own recordings outdoors. If you tap anywhere on the screen, you can see the timeline at the bottom. And you've also got this button on the right hand side. It just allows you to toggle through some different screen resolutions. There we go. Once you're finished uh, looking at the clip, you can hit done in the top left hand corner. Now that brings you back out to the main screen here. If you want to see a live view of the cameras in the top left here, you'll see live. Just click on that. Brings you through to this screen where we can see a live feed from the front camera. If you use the FR at the top there, you can switch to the rear camera. Unfortunately, there's not much to look at as I'm just in the office. Um, here we have some information on the SD card capacity and the firmware versions. And you can use this icon in the top right hand corner to switch to full screen. So, there we go. Oh, that's, I've just triggered an impact event. 
If you tap the screen and hit done, that'll take you back. Okay, so now that we're back out on the main screen, if you want to download any of these video clips, you'll see on the right hand side we have a row of download icons. If you just tap the one that corresponds to the clip, there we go, you can see it instantly begins to download the file. And what's actually happening is a copy is now being taken from the dash camera and moved to a folder within the My Witness HD app. So you've got a hard copy on your phone and you now know that the camera can't or won't overwrite it at a later date. There we go, that's finished, completed, it's quite quick. So there's two ways you can now access that file. In the bottom left here you'll see you've got this disk icon. That brings you straight through to phone storage. Or alternatively, if you were out on the front screen here, you can tap phone storage. And there we go. So this screen is very much the same as the previous one we've seen. It's got a filter on the left hand side. The only real additional feature is a star system on the right here. And it just allows you to filter out any favorites you might have in there. Or if you wanted to actually delete the file, you can hold down and then delete. Now unfortunately the one downside to this app is that there is currently no way to save this video clip directly to the photos or video folder on your phone. My Witness are planning on releasing some updates in the future so hopefully this will be a feature that they add. In the meantime if you would like to send or email your video clip you can simply connect your phone to iTunes which you can then use to save a copy onto your laptop or PC. That covers everything in this section. In the bottom left here, you've got a icon for a camera now. If you tap that, it'll take you back to the main screen. Okay, so the final area we have to explore is the settings. If you come up to this cog in the top right hand corner, I'll bring you through to the settings page. So the first tab is general. So here you can see we've got some options to adjust the time. Um, we've also got options to adjust the parking mode settings. So if you've got the camera hardwired, you might want to have a play around with those. Um, also quite unique to the My Witness HD is an option to have a high temperature cutoff. This could be quite useful in the summer if you're leaving the car parked throughout the day. And then at the bottom there you've got the option to turn the front LED on or off. On the next tab along we've got recording. So you've got the uh, option at the top here to adjust the mic volume. So if you don't want uh, the camera re recording any noise from within the car, you could actually set this all the way down to low, which actually turns it off. Likewise, if you don't want to hear any sound coming from the camera, you could slide this down to off also. Uh, I've got some options there for video quality, um, and then some sensitivity settings for the parking mode and G sensor. On the next tab along, we've got extras. Here you've got the option to uh, decide on the format, which is either PAL or NTSC. And then you've got the display unit for speed, which is kilometers per hour, miles per hour. And then a language setting at the bottom. So on the final tab, we've got Wi-Fi. And here you've got the SSID. If you wanted to adjust this, you could. So you could have dash witness. And there you go, just hit OK. Now if you do make any changes to the SSID or password, just remember that you'll have to go through the process we did to begin with by going into your phone settings and reconnect into the Wi-Fi. Now if you do make any changes on any of these tabs just remember to come up to the top here on uh, the little disk which will allow you to save those settings. And the final thing to have a look at in the top right hand corner where you've got these three dots if you tap those you've got the option to default uh, back to factory settings or you can format the SD card. This is a really useful option um, it's good practice to make sure you're formatting the SD cards and dash cams once every sort of four to six weeks. It just means that you'll get the maximum lifespan out of them. There we go, so just hit OK and that'll go ahead and format for you. And that's pretty much it. So that's all the settings. And that concludes an overview of what you can expect from the My Witness HD app.